What up YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about RFID chips and I also want to talk about witches. Now, the part about the witches that I'm going to get into today, this topic was requested by one of my subscribers, so you know I had to make that happen. But I'm pretty sure majority of you guys have seen the uh the post about Donald Trump saying that at the end of 2017 everybody will have received the RFID chip which is the mark of the beast right which is what they talk about in the Bible basic instructions before leaving earth now the thing about this right now I'm not saying that the Bible is a hundred percent true because it's not you know what I'm saying like I said it's duality 50% is good information 50% is bad information but when you mix a lie with get with good information it's still I mean when you mix a lie with truth it's still a lie you see what I'm saying because it's not the complete truth but look this is the thing I'm saying though see the Bible is about interpretations allegories and all this type of stuff that's why they say you must fast in order to receive that divine information so you must fast so you could be able to really interpret the messages that they send in the Bible. Don't get me wrong, it's some real last information in the Bible, but everybody don't see it the same. You see what I'm saying? They don't, this is 100% true. Now, the thing about this is, right, they have been talking about the RFID chip, radio frequency identification device. They have been talking about this type of stuff. I've been talking about this type of stuff. Like I said, I said it before, I'ma say it again. If you think you alive, then you're better off dead. Break me the horizon. Y'all ready for that? I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, real talk though, like I said it before, like it was like 2000 something. I think I was like five, right? Futurama. I used to watch that. I swear to God, I, used to, I watched all that stuff. And I was able to perceive the hints that they was given. You know what I'm saying? More than other people. A lot of, I'd be like, man, you see what they talk about. Do anybody else see this? I used to be saying that, like, do anybody else in the world see exactly what they're saying? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people used to be like, oh, man, that's just a cartoon. Not really. Because, look, the first episode of Futurama, when Fry first got froze into that time capsule, and the uh, timer went to the year 3000. As soon as he got unfrozen in the year 3000, the dude said, uh, what occupation do you want to pursue? He said, piece of delivery boy, because he was a piece of delivery boy in the year 2000. So that's all he knew. So he said, I want to be a piece of delivery boy. So dude, like, hold out your hand. Here's your chip. And he put it right in the middle of his palm. Come on, RFID chips, man. They've been talking about it. Come on, man. These cartoons have been predicting the truth. Now all of a sudden, 2017, they uh, they said at the end of uh, at the end of 2017, everybody will have received the microchip. I'm not going for that bullshit. Real talk. That's where it comes down to what I was talking about: the rebellion versus the system. The rebellion is the people, the spiritual people, who's awake to the truth, aka the angels, aka the Most High's children. Real talk. And then you got the system. Which is these demons and these agents. Real talk. It's the shit deep. Real talk. It's very deep. You see what I'm saying? Then it all goes back. It's all the same category. It's different name. It all goes back to what I said. Satan's spiritual ver revolution versus God's spiritual revolution. Just using that word God so people can understand where the fuck I'm coming from. Now, a lot of people, they mind can't take this information. You want to know why? Because they have been dumbed down. They programmed the program that they have received only allows their mind to accept a certain amount of information. But when you break your program, such as me and many other people, you can really understand and understand this information, right? And don't get me wrong. Why do you think they word things a certain way? Because words are spelled. That's why they say English is the hardest language to learn because it's a backwards language. So many different languages chopped up, mixed into one language. Real talk. It's a, you speak in spells. That's why they say in the Bible, uh, life and death is within the tongue. You see what I'm saying? Like, the Bible may have lies in it, but it has truth. Just like what I said. Life and death is within the tongue. So if you speak death, death will manifest. If you speak life, life will manifest. In other words, basically, if you speak negativity, negativity will manifest right in front of you. If you speak positivity, positive things will manifest right in front of you. They're giving you real hints. You see what I'm saying? But this is the thing, though. That's why they word shit a certain way. They say... 
at the end of 2017, by the end of 2017, whatever, whatever the fuck, everybody will have received the RFID chip. What does that mean? Basically, that means is some people already had an RFID chip. It's true. So many people, you go on YouTube and type your RFID chip, you got some people showing it in their hand, forehead, you know what I'm saying? All type of stuff. And they forearm, they showing you that they got the chip already. They've been ahead of the game. You think people in Japan ain't got the chip already? Come on, Japan is way ahead of us. You know what I'm saying? America is really the dumbest country in the world. And I live in America, but that don't mean I'm stupid because, like I said, I'm a different type of being. Just like you who awake, who are awakened to the truth. You are a different type of being. You see what I'm saying? But this is the thing, though. A lot of people already got the chip. They're trying to give everybody the chip. The chip, the RFID chip, is basically your allegiance to Satan. Basically, for you to live and thrive in Satan's world, they want you to have that chip. Go watch this movie called NWO, New World Order, I swear to God. It's these people, they got the NWO on their forehead, and it's in a circle. Movie came out like 2012, 2014, some shit like that. I'm going to see if they got it on Netflix. But, and some people got it on their forearm, some people got it in their hand, and a lot of people got it on their forehead, right? And it's this dude who works for the government, or he works for the system. You can call him Satan, or whatever you want to call him the dark lord of the universe, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And he persuading people, parents, he's scaring them and tell them the benefits you get when you accept the mark and all this type of stuff, blah, blah, blah. And you got people, a lot of people, like the parents in that, they accept the mark. You know, some of their kids walk in the house and they see a big ass NWO on their head and they like, they accept the mark. Because a lot of these people, kids in the movie was hip to the truth. Like the stuff I'm saying, they was hip to this already. And they weren't going for none of that. A lot of their kids was on the run and all that. Their parents telling them, you need to accept the mark or you're going to be on the run. You're a rebel, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even finish the whole movie. But the stuff they were saying just in the first 20 minutes of the movie, I'm like, I already know what this is about. I understand, I understand. They telling you what's going on. They trying to force their kids to accept the mark, setting their kids up so they can get the, uh, so they can take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. A lot of them was hip to the truth. They spiritually awake. That's why you can't deal with authority because we came back to this planet to change it. A lot of people ain't going to understand that because, like I said, they programming only allows them to accept a certain amount of information which they have been programmed already their whole life. Real talk. A lot of people say you can't give people the truth straightforward. Well, you can't give it to them in a Kool-Aid in a Kool-Aid way either. What that mean? You can't give it to them you can't sugarcoat it to them. You gotta tell them the truth, cause at this at this point in time, you're supposed to have a certain amount of light codes, a certain amount of information. If you don't, you're a dead soul. Some people say they don't even have dreams, cause they so have dead, if not gone completely. Real talk, wake the damn up. <laughs> you feel me? Now I just had to talk about that, let you know this shit is real. Now let's talk about these witches. You know, so I'm gonna dive a little bit deep. No ocean floor, double entendre. But with these witches, witches are real. Voodoo, hoodoo, magic, black magic, white magic, light magic, dark magic, whatever you want to call it, it exists. Real talk, it exists. And like they've been telling you this in Disney movies and all that. Come on, man, it's magic. All these TV shows and all that, they put spells on you. Programming, that's why they call television, tell lie vision, telling lies to your vision. You see what I'm saying? Disney been talking about using magic. But a lot of people, man, that shit ain't real. Magic is real. Magic is all around us. Magic is in the air. But they only perceive the bad magic with the voodoo and all that because they want to scare you. That's that Hollywood shit. Don't get me wrong. Voodoo could be used in a good way, too. But you got a lot of evil people here taking this information and using it for bad. They got free will, but just because they're using that information for bad, they will be dealt with. Point blank, period. No blood. Now... That's the thing, though. These witches are all around you. You got a lot of witches in your family. You got a lot of witches that's quote-unquote peers, friends, whatever you want to call them. You got a lot of witches that's staff members, as in at your school, at your job. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all type of places, man. All type of places. If you're on a basketball team, they're on a basketball team, football team. They everywhere. They got the local grocery store, the car wash, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And they blend in like regular people. That's where the movie They Live come into play. 
they live, flip the word, live around spells evil, they evil, because they live. Now, don't get me wrong, these witches, they are people who try to put spells on you. That's what Tiaria was talking about. With these witches and these evil people, you have to put spells on them in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Most High. Basically meaning that you have to cast these demons out before they try to cast you out. Because you know how you, you got plans, goals, and ambitions, and everything going positive, but then... You may tell a certain person your goals and your plans, and then everything start going south. You know what I'm saying? That's because these people are witches, and they send out negative energy, and they do spells and shit on you to fuck everything up for you. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. These people, they do rituals and blood sacrifices in order to get materialistic gain. Some people do it just to get power. That's why they sacrifice babies and little children that are virgins, because when you... Sacrifice that virgin energy. That virgin energy is pure. It's pure. It can manifest anything instantly, instantly. So a lot of these evil witches and warlocks, males are warlocks. They uh, that's what Wizards of Waverly Place was about. Magic, you know what I'm saying? They uh do that so they can get that negative energy. They can get that real, you know, that evil energy, that power. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A lot, like I said, a lot of people do it for money, which is quote unquote power in their world. But money ain't nothing but current written seed current of the sea which is electricity because when water moves in a rhythm and emotion it creates friction you know what i'm saying real talk you know what i'm saying so be aware these witches exist a lot of these people are evil people they put spells on people to try to hurt them that's why people be coming up sick out the blue people be coming up missing all that man i'm telling you these people are around you and a lot of them gonna try to send negative energy towards you but when you wake up and you know what I'm saying, see the spiritual truth behind everything and you aware of your powers because to be aware is to be alive. When you become aware of your own powers, they become alive. You can use your powers against these evil bastards. So wake the damn up. You know what I'm saying? More videos coming soon. Uh, that way. Hold on. I meant to say that way.